sure hope everyone's good i'm gonna be doing some more fishing got the abu cardinal 66 salt waterproof so don't give us any heat thought there might be some mackerel here because the weather's been really warm but there's hardly anyone fishing on that side so it tells me that there's not many here so instead i'm just going to scratch around and it'll be the first time i've used my grandpa's reel so we'll see you get a dab or something with that i've got the Daiwa procaster as well with a one ounce weight and just a piece of mackerel got some other stuff as well got some new lures since I thought the mackerel might be in I might still throw them never know, might get a cold fish or something on them but I got a cable backpack caster handline Made in America by the K-Ball company who make the fighting knives. So I might do some float fishing with that and just see if I get some mini species. You never know. Got a few layers as well. Be looking forward to trying these so I might just throw them even if there's nothing there. I got some penis lures. So at least if I throw these I can brag about getting my dick wet. And I got a JP blade by Majorcraft and Candy Cane. Hang this mackerel, I'm gonna have a hard on for that. And just a few little casting jigs and jig heads and whatnot. So anyway. Bring it back if I catch anything and I'll see if I can set up that hand line as a float fishing thing. Oop. Should at least be dabs in here, if nothing else. Looks like there might be something pulling away on the rod already. Might be a crab though. But we'll see. Bring it back if I get anything. So that's the handline set up with a float. Just a bubble float. Short hook length tiny piece of bait and a tiny hook and I've got the stop knot set up for about six feet so casts real nice I've used it before but I've never used it float fishing In fact I very rarely used it, I think I've used it about four or five times since I've had it in the six or seven years I've had it. I think I'll bring it in a little closer actually and drop it straight down the side. where all the little fish will be.
nothing nothing to look at the bait this time usually if you've had a bait in the water for about five ten minutes and there's no rattles on the tip means that there's nothing here and you're just wasting your time continue anyway cycle 10 miles to get here so i'm not going to pack up and go so change of tactics i've put the stop knot on the float for 15 feet and i'm throwing it out as far as i can and i'm just dropping the rod straight down the bottom so far i'm not getting any bites on anything been here for about an hour Hand line's good though. I don't think you can still get it anymore. They made them a few years ago. I've got something on the floor. Eventually we'll get it in. First catch of the day, seaweed fish, nicely hooked, easy release. Number two, another weed fish, another easy release. it in see if there's anything on it or if anything's even looked at it feels like there's a little bit of weight on if it's a crab then at least it'll be something the only sign of life I've seen is birds It's still there. Put a bigger piece on. To see if it will get any attention. It's absolutely nothing. It's been in the water for about half an hour. So there's nothing here. I'm going to stick a penis lure on and just see how it. What action it has. So there's my penis lure, ready to go. I like how they've put the hook right on the end so it looks like the fish is sucking on it. I just fancied buying some novelty lures and I found something that suits my childish sense of humour. Got pretty good action. I don't think you can see it though. Gives off a lot of flash. At least I can see I got my dick wet now. Ten gram there. I think this is a fifteen gram, fourteen to forty-two gram rod. Cast it just as fine.
feels pretty good. And this wheel's got a high enough to achieve. You can push it along the surface. So it's a pretty good rod in the reel. That's what I like about these vintage reels. Paired with modern rods, you get the reliability of the vintage reel with the customability and lightweight finessiness of a modern rod. So you get the best of both worlds. On top of that, the Johan beat up Boo Gossiers. Built like tanks. The rate of retrieve is really good on them. See your heads bouncing across the water surface. So it's fast enough for plugs. Another thing I like about this is it's got the button there, you just easy as that to remove the spool. And I got another spare spool with this as well with some lighter line on. So this is like 15, 20 pound mono, but this is the original line, so it's really thick. But I've got another one with some modern 10 pound line on, which I should really use for lure fishing, but this line's good for bait fishing and whatnot. The major craft blur. 18 grams Oh that's got a good action, I can see the spinner going, you can feel it vibrating I don't think you can see it though The back wheel are definitely going to have a hard on for that I can tell already Cast like a bullet as well. This is going to be a perfect lift for mackerel. I want to get a ton of these. I can tell just by feeling it through the water. All that distance away. I can feel it vibrating. That's going to be a good lure that. That's the first time I've thrown this lure as well. I think that's going to be a good general purpose there as well. Bass are going to go for it too. Not many back, uh, bass around here though. I've got that uh, big back uh, jackal as well there. That a friend sent us from Japan. Or a friend in Japan sent us it. From Japan. There's bass. On the other side of that wall, you can't see it, the screen's gone into screen saving mode But on the other side of that wall, there's rocks And when the tide's out, it's a good spot for bass So I might, I don't really like fishing there because Tide floods in really fast You can easily get cut off Not many people fish for bass off those rocks either, so it's not really known as a bass spot. Mostly just uh, cod fishing. That's an awesome way this. So that's the Major Craft JP Spin. Highly recommend that. Haven't caught anything yet, but I can already tell, like I say. This is going to be a mackerel slayer. So the mackerel obviously aren't in yet, but I highly recommend you buy a few of these in preparation. Because these, I can tell just the action that it's given in the water. They're going to have a hard on for this. Well, that's it for this fishing session. There's absolutely nothing here. No crabs, nothing. But at least I can see I got my dick wet. Nice. So even though I've caught nothing, 
I'll upload the video anyway, just because it's been ages since I've uploaded any videos. But, uh, as far as the reel goes, first casts, it's done in maybe 20 odd years, 25 years. Still casts just like it did the day it left the factory, I guess. Casts slurs like a bullet. And the hand line, the K ball, it's been perfectly fine with float fishing. So that turned out good. And the penis lure. Surprisingly good action. Gives off a lot of flash, so mackerel should like that. If you're looking for new lures for the start of mackerel season, out. I can recommend the Major Craft. Spin, even though I caught nothing on it, like I said, it's just the sort of lure I can tell the mackerel are going to like, so I can recommend that. So that's all, thanks for watching.